From lawmakers tonight, as we continue to investigate the mail delays here in Georgia, it's now been two weeks since we took you inside the Senate hearing uh, in Washington, D.C., where senators pushed Postmaster General Louis DeJoy for transparency. And tonight, Illuminalized Liza Lucas checks back in with lawmakers and where they stand now. Really nail down what the problem is, how you're going to fix it, and what the timeline is to fix that. Those are the questions 11 Alive and lawmakers have been pushing for four months when it comes to mail delays all across Georgia tied to the new USPS Regional Processing and Distribution Center in Palmetto. The timeline to fix the issue increasingly critical with May primaries around the corner. And, and it's not just election with that absentee ballots. You know, you're talking about IRS as well. You've got people that have made payments. Uh, that they owed the IRS back on April the 15th. Congressman Mike Collins of Georgia was among the frustrated while trying for weeks to pin down a meeting with the Postmaster General. But after recently speaking with Louis DeJoy directly, he appears more assured. It was a good productive meeting. And I told General DeJoy that I think the, the biggest problem that I saw was just the big lack of transparency. Other problems tied to the Palmetto launch, he says, include staffing and trucking issues. After speaking with the Postmaster General, Collins tells 11 Alive of a system that needed upgrades, but also says the Postmaster General has now requested more staffing. After initial struggles to schedule that meeting, Collins reports back the two remain in touch, but he still wants to see the Palmetto facility firsthand. I'm feeling confident that what he told me that he had a handle on the situation, I, I, I still want to see it for myself. In Atlanta, Liza Lucas, 11 Alive News. Well, 11 Alive also followed up with Senator John Ossoff on a few a few days ago after his fiery exchange with the Postmaster General during that hearing earlier this month. In the long run, right, the, you will have the, uh, probably the best service in the we, country. You know, the, the long run is, is too long. You've got weeks, what, not months. I, you've I got I weeks, see. not months well, to fix this. And if you don't fix it, 36 percent on time delivery, I don't think you're fit for this job. Senator Ossoff reiterated that he's still deeply dissatisfied with the Postal Service's performance. Workers are out there working their hearts out every day, but if they don't have the leadership and infrastructure necessary to deliver the mail on time, we see what the consequences are. So I have followed up in writing with the Postmaster General, and uh, I am anticipating that we will receive some updated data that will reveal whether they've made the necessary improvements. Well, as you know, we've been following these postal problems for months now. To catch up on our reporting, text MAIL to the number on your screen, and we're going to send you a link of our coverage directly to your phone with some of the common, most common delivery issues we're seeing right now.